I got the old trusty packed for a good burbot trip tonight. Uh, I'm picking Jackson up in about 20 minutes from school. The kid and I are going to go catch some burbot tonight. So this is actually a one year from the very first video I made on my YouTube channel. And it was the same trip, uh, him and I going up there together and just catching a whole pile of fish. And a lot's happened since then. Uh, thanks guys for uh, subscribing and supporting my channel. It's been awesome to get to know some of you. And uh, tonight we're gonna go try and do a repeat, catch a whole bunch of burbs. And we'll probably go get a donut and get up there and try and catch a few trout maybe before dark. Burbot fishing all night. So we'll see you on the ice. Hopefully we can slam them. Starting route to Ashland. In 1.5 miles, keep right onto US 63. this before we go out for burbot and we've already got a couple fish on the ice here and we've missed a bunch more so um, they're just coming through kind of in schools and waves and we've always had good luck in the evening like this so we're gonna keep fishing here till probably about dark and hopefully pick up a couple more. So Jackson just caught his first herring ever right buddy? Yeah I think so. Cool fish huh? Uh huh. You gonna eat them or use them for bait? Um, whatever you want. All right. Throw them in the pile. They're still biting here. It's almost dark and we're still catching them. Nice one. That is that a is beaut. A that's a perfect eating yeah, that's a good one, coho. Awesome night to be out here, that's for sure. How many did you end up with? Two so far. Two, Two middle so far. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they were coming through. Yeah. Great night, that's for sure. It's almost getting to be burbot time. All right, we're in the shack now. We have the line set up, all the vultures are on, so hopefully a burbot wakes us up sometime tonight here. We did good on the cohos. Um, we ended up with, I think, five cohos and a herring, so I think we're gonna go back there in the morning and see what we can do there uh, at daylight. So hopefully we'll be waking up here shortly with a, some sort of uh, burbot bite. Burbot of the night on here. <gasps> One o'clock in the morning. It's coming on. Hmm? And it's just dead calm out here tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Getting there. How many flags you got? Five? No, just two. Oh, you must have been dinking around then. One, one, yeah, one. I was. This one doesn't feel quite as big as Jackson's. You got a good one needed? Yeah, you got a nice one. Good. Okay. Well, it's a burbot. See what I did here this time? Oh, nice. I saw you were rigging it up, bro. So yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> nice. Like that. 
How's your second donut, bud? Awesome. Awesome. So we're heading back to the coho spot. We got a couple burbot last night and uh, it was fairly slow, but we did get two, so that's good. Jackson got one. I got one. It's a little bit bumpy because all the snow drifts have hardened over the night and uh, they were pretty much melted yesterday, so it's kind of like a bunch of big ice chunks. But we're almost back. We're going to get set up for coho's here. See if we can uh, get a few. Jackson just caught the first one. We've missed a whole bunch already. Uh, they're really finicky, so they're just kind of nipping at the minnows. But uh, we hooked two and landed one. And we've seen a couple under the shack here, too, under the ice. They're just coming in like five feet under the ice. So we've got uh, three jaw jackers and one flag board set up, all with uh, vultures on them. So we've got our vulture systems remote just hanging right there. So we can. Uh, you can know instantly when we get a bite and then we're just jigging some little small minnows and waxies here in the shack oh fish on buddy yep he's on oh he looks like a nice one you don't have to set the hook he's already on there good job just pull him up nice and gentle There we go. Nice one, buddy. Good job. That is a good eater right there. That's the biggest one yet. What do you think? Nice. <laughs> well, we're just cooking up some lunch here, and uh, we just moved spots to a shoreline area where we might catch a brown or a splake. The coho is kind of tapered off once it got light there. And we ended up, I think, with seven cohos and two burbot. So. We got a lot of fish to bring home already. We're just hoping to catch a really nice brown here this afternoon before we head home. So we're cooking up some mac and cheese and some hot dogs and enjoying the nice weather. Right, buddy? Yeah. He's all yours, okay? Don't horse him, though. Just keep the line tight. It might be a while. Okay, turn a little bit so I got Ooh, this tight. behind you. Little. It's a brown. Oh, it's a splake. Oh. Nice job. It's yeah. your first splake. Yeah. Give me five. I don't know if it's a keeper or not, but. Oh, you got one on too? Oh, yeah. A splake are coming through. Nice. If he's 15 inches, we can keep him, okay? Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. 14. We gotta let him go. Yeah, well, we're getting ready to wrap it up here. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and we got a couple burbot last night. We kept six cohos and uh, one perch here. So his herring we cut up for bait to catch the burbot, and then the splake was just a little bit small, uh, so we had to let him go. He was just undersized. So it was an awesome trip, right, buddy? Yeah. Give me five. We'll have to do it again next year, huh? Yeah, so as I'm saying, I took a ripper, giant fall. <gasps> Look at that hot heater. Hot heater. Awesome! I got two spoons, by the way. 